welcome back to Cozy Grove. Uh, even on building up the island, um, I'm really liking just a little like boost of colors if, so we go through and we help. Here it goes. There's gotta be something with them. Figure that out later. I'm sure they'll they won't just like leave that hanging. Uh, so let's see, another log for the fire. More. Only three more logs before I'm full. I sense at least two logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Okay. Um. I got a feather close by someone else's tent. I mean, my tent seems to be the only one here. Shut up. Wood. And is it if it's not mine? Does anyone else have a tent? Wow. Oh, that was a pretty big haul for that one. A couple of loose coins. Nowhere near enough of what I need, though. Let's get 250, I think, to buy the bird. hint here. Go searching. What I need is out there somewhere. Pick your quest log for a hint, or if you're really stuck, go to Charlotte Pine and get directions. I mean, the hint was just that close by someone else's tent. see feather here. I mean, this isn't really much of a tent. It's like a canvas on the floor with a sleeping bag on top, but alright. Let's get a hint. Uh, uh, hidden object directions. Oh, jeez, it costs money. No thanks. Figure it out on my own. Especially because I don't have much money. Not sure what the best option here for doing all that is. Um, see this thing? What did it like? A uh, lamp. Yeah, the lamp was one of the options I could build. Or something. Uh, t -t Which fence? Is there not a lamp? Huh. Oh, maybe it was in the shop. That's what I'm thinking of. Yep, that's what it was. Ten quartz gemstones. This. This. Yeah, but I don't have the tool for it. I'm not going to use... I mean, first off, I don't think I even have enough money. I don't. Um, so I can't get the hint. Take a look. Uh, I got storage, clothing, upgrade my tent. Jesus, 5,000 coins. I don't know what burning something to do, but... I can't believe it's just the one feather, and I can't find it. That's 
all I get is just that I'm by someone else's tent. I wonder if I need to expand the island more before it'll unlock. I mean, that feels like that'd be possible, but also kind of feels like a dick move because I'm like, I don't know. I'm half open to have that. It's, we might already be at a point where uh, I have to like grind off screen to collect stuff and sell just to get the money because it looks like money is uh, really important. Shoot. I've definitely have been all around the island, so either something where like I need to expand the island again to find the feather, or I have to uh Yeah, uh, do some upgrading or something. So either way, um I feel like I'm gonna have to just grind and collect materials and where we go from there. Um, I guess what I'm going to have to do for now is I will pause the episode and if anything interesting happens, I will uh, clip it back in. So, uh, you guys won't miss anything, but... Alright, go ahead and pause it here. Um, Alright, that'll do. So, hopefully we'll see you soon.
Okay, welcome back. Uh, went around in a, um, just, you guys remember the tree that was down here. I placed some, uh, items down here that boosted its, uh, harvest. And then when I harvested, I was just, uh, collected all the fruit and I sold them all. And now I've got some cash. And now I got enough to be able to buy this bird. So go ahead and do that. Non-placid bird. Take my money. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what that bird does for us. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self, a ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? Ooh. A little boost. Here's more color. Very nice. I like it. Okay. Bird charm. I'm going to place it here. Go. Oh. Bagel or donut? Be spirit animal. Eat cooked food, then harvest essence. Surround it with item it likes to increase your harvest. Uh, like decoration, lamp, and rustic decor. Pet it. Pet the bird. Oh, is that how he harvests? Okay. There's a lock for you. Delicious. Only two more logs form full. Then someone has a log that they're eager to give you if you can help them. Yeah, there's the seagull bear, but um, still a little lost on where that feather could be. Big. It was a nice little boost there, but uh, we're kind of right back to what the fuck do I do? That's a uh, curious. He had a whole bunch of fence. It counts as decoration, so I should be able to put a bunch of fence around here, and it'll make uh, the bird happy. Where should max out? There we go. A little fence corner. He's a good bird. Okay, what do we get? What's this? Uh, bird essence. Use in cooking spirit animal food, also for decoration. Interesting. Oh, I needed a ton of coins. I guess I did have a bunch of uh, you know, all the food and stuff I've got, but. I'm so hesitant to just sell everything, so I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to need in the future, you know? I mean, I could just try selling all that. Like, at the very least, the mushrooms I seem to be getting from those leaf piles seem to be plentiful. Could do that. I wish I knew where that feather uh, was supposed to be, because the only hint I've got is someone else's tent. I mean, who is the someone else? Oh, 
what the? I, I just got a feather. I was just tapping A randomly around here. I guess it was just hidden back there and I didn't see it. All right. Got it. There you go. Fuck. That's a fine set of feathers. But why bother helping me, little castaway, when you have such troubles of your own? Being neighborly, you give a quest, I do it, you reward me. That's the way this works. Oh, a pragmatist, with a touch of sass. You'll do well on these shores, sailor. With these bit of fluff pad in my coat, the wind bite, wind's bite does lose its teeth. But bundled so, a rule of the afterlife comes to me, clear as white rum. Even in death, you cannot re-feather your wings. It's not the log for me. Little boost. Got a color bomb. Um, occupied. Coming back tomorrow. Okay. On shell. The thing I'm a little concerned about with uh, Captain is that he said that uh, he had like a collection that he'd pay for like the fish. So I'm like. Should I not sell my fish then? Log. Nope. Just one final log and I'll be full. I'm not sensing any more spirit logs. Check back with the spirits tomorrow to see if they need help. For now, maybe go fishing or collect some seashells. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, this uh, this game actually does have like time sense, like actual Animal Crossing. So uh, uh, you can't actually like binge and play everything in one setting. You have to come back and play it multiple days of it. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is just fuck around on my own. Just uh, enjoy the game. Collect stuff. Sell it. Just see what kind of uh, way I can get and what I can build. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And then I can come back in with another episode uh, tomorrow where you can see uh, what I've done uh you know, if uh, I have any kind of improvements I've made, I will show them to you guys. Um, then we can, we'll have a brand new quest that we can uh, talk to everyone for. Uh, I was just thinking. Important to stop and appreciate the beautiful things in the world, Stamp Champ. For example, take this verse I've memorized. Ahem. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night. Days these couriers on the swift completion of their appointed rounds. Do you know I mean? Aren't you just completely recharged now? Uh, not really, but whatever. No, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, though, because uh, about um, since I don't, there's no more logs to get, so I can't expand the island. And there's still a bunch of stuff left to unlock. Like, there's clearly going to be, like, a cooking thing to be unlocked. And there's, uh, obviously more tools that I'm missing. Because, uh, it's something that looks like I can, uh, do. But it won't let me. As I said before, camper rangers insist on proper camping etiquette. What I haven't told you is that there's more to camping adequate than leave no trace and douse your fire before you go to sleep. Oh no, it goes much deeper than that. I'm talking the arcane texts that go back centuries. Shadowy organizations that... Eh, well now I've said too much. Yeah, of course. Um... No, yeah, I don't think there's much more I can show you guys unless you just want to me run around grinding and not be able to say much about any story. Um, so, alright. I guess I'm going to have to leave this episode off here. Um, I'll try to... I might do like a little speed up instead of just a full cut if, uh, of when I was fucking around just trying to build stuff. We'll see if uh, how long this episode uh, how much I've got with the recording I've got and what I can put together for you guys is because it's like a full proper length episode. But uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, we'll see. This one's like will be the first kind of unique series where because everything I've done so far has been just I've done the entire uh, game and then I've uploaded it like all in one go of every day having the next episode. So this one I might actually because of the 
uh, time recording of where it's like, oh, you gotta wait until tomorrow. I might upload just a uh, couple episodes and then just every now and then, like in between uh, other games, there'll be some Sprack episodes of this. Um, or I might just leave this off here and just like, you know, this is it. This is the game. If you, if you like it, you can get it for yourself. It's available on Steam. Um, so we'll see how things go. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.